Hey everyone, um, I'm standing in front of the Steel Creek Church and Cemetery. Uh, I believe this is the second oldest uh, church and cemetery in the Mecklenburg area outside of Charlotte. I'm less than a mile from the airport. And the reason why this is all fenced up is because of airport expansion. So this church and cemetery was founded in 1760. So it actually predates the United States. This building here um, was built in 1889 to replace the previous church that was built in 1858. That one burned to the ground. The bricks to build this church uh, was made on site by the congregation. And the clay used came from right over here at the bottom of this hill. Unfortunately, I cannot go in here. I would love to get a little closer. Uh, this is an amazing church. And if you hear, you can see exactly why this church is no longer in operation. So due to the expansion of the airport, um, the noise of the planes flying over the church, you know, constantly uh, made it difficult for the congregation to, you know, have their services and their events. In 2019, the congregation of this church approved the merger with a nearby church. So this building now remains empty. The church is, or the site I'm standing on with the church uh, is, is um, now owned by the Charlotte Douglas Airport Authority. They purchased this tract of land. We're gonna be hearing airplanes uh, pretty much all day. Now the cemetery is still owned by the church officials. I believe Charlotte Douglas Airport originally wanted to purchase this and remove all of these gravestones, but that was kind of met with a lot of resistance. So they did not purchase this tract of land here. There's headstones dating all the way back to 1763. Although I believe there's some earlier ones, uh, earlier uh, burials, but they're, they're um, hard to find. They're, they're not documented anywhere and there's no headstones. So let's take a walk in the cemetery. So right ahead of me is the main gate and to the left of that is where the older stones are located. Those go back to the mid 1700s. Uh, I'm gonna try and walk through as much as I can. It's really um, hot and humid today. Let's see how long I can last. Um, there's close to two or uh, 2,500 headstones in here, so I don't think we're going to be looking at all of them. But let's walk through the older area um, and then eventually work our way over to the newer area just to see. 
if there's anything here of interest, I will uh, try to read what I can. And what I can't read, I will do some research offline and then um, add it to the, to the video. Died August 20, 1892. Thomas Greer. See, and right here, there it's just there's just no way you're gonna read this. It is completely washed out. Let's go look over here. It's a above ground crypt. Sacred to the memory of W A. I think it says Hanno. Hannon, born October 20th, 1830, died August 12th, 1878. How grand. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to find what that says. I can't read that. And you can see on top here. It is so washed out I can't read it, but I will try and get some some information. And although the uh, church is now abandoned, the, the cemetery is still accepting new burials um, over on this side here towards the back beyond the wall. There's a new area. Um, and they are still burying people there. Uh, I've seen a lot of 2022 20, graves online. Uh, so they've really, they're really keeping this well maintained. So we have Andrew H, son of B, F, and Mary Brown. eighteen sixty one aged nearly eighteen years and you can see there's some infant stillborn infant daughter of BF and SM Brown eighteen seventy one uh, Leanna B I think it says I again I can't read that one on this side, there's another stillborn infant, son of B.F. and Mary Brown, November 20, 1858. Memory of Joseph T. Brown, son of B.F. and Mary Brown, who departed this life September 11th, 1851, I believe, aged two years and six months. And here is Mary Brown, wife of B.F. Brown. 39 years, 10 months, and 22 days. And in the older section, you're gonna see a lot of the same names. Um, here's Greer again, John Greer, S. 
Elmina Greer, wife of J.B. Greer, 1872. Here's two um, children in memory of Ida Jane, daughter of W.P. and H.C. Brown, died June 5th, 1866, aged five years, four months, 16 days. And next to Ida Jane is William Wallace, son of W.P. and H.C. Brown, died October 8th. 1866, age two months. Wow, that's that's very close together. Uh, I can't read all of that. I will post it. And here's memory of Cornelius, son of W.P. and A.C. Brown. 2nd October, 1854. Very hard to read. Here's one up against the rock wall. Stillborn infant. I think it says uh, daughter of, I think. Um, January Suggs, consort of William L. Suggs, who departed this life September the 24th, 1843, in the 24th year of her age. Death like a mighty conqueror roams to call all mortals to their tombs, excusing none through ear so young let them be virtuous rich or strong John A son of Don't know, I can't read it. Uh, aged, looks like three years and two months, maybe. Aged. Say like 13 months. William Walker, 1870, 31 years, 5 months, 14 days. No more with us, his tuneful voice. The hymn of praise shall swell. No more his gentle heart rejoice to hear the Sabbath bell. Violet Jane. 
and there's some laying flat like this. Um, they kind of come up on you. This one is very obvious, but I've been walking around and I've seen some that just are getting overgrown. And this one here looks like tree root is kind of taking its toll on this one. Let's see, it says John Hurd. But I mean, it's just completely gone. Let's go look at this monument. Dr. I.W. Heron. For 50 years, practicing physician in Steel Creek and vicinity. Cooper's wife, or Dr. Heron's wife, Althea Cooper. Well, gang, um, I think this is going to be it for today. Uh, it looks like this is going to be a multi-part video. Um, it is so incredibly hot out here. I'm literally, like, melting. Um, and my camera uh, keeps shutting off. Uh, due to heat. So I think I'm going to revisit this um, and probably do a part two in this really old area here and then possibly a part three over behind me here in this newer area. Uh, but I, that's all I could handle for today. It's just, it's just so incredibly hot and uh, humid. I think we've Definitely um, went over the 100 degree mark today. Um, and as you could see, basically, there's no shade out here, right? So I'm just walking around in, in the heat and the camera is um, not cooperating. So thanks for watching, I guess, the ultimate part one. And uh, we will come back to, uh, to this cemetery because this is... This is an amazing cemetery. It's just so nice, nicely kept and quiet. Um, and it's all history, right? Uh, basically, people prior to the birth of this nation are buried here. So thanks again. Uh, thanks for watching.